Good morning and uh, welcome to the Biomarine Business Convention pitching sessions. Um, with me, I have uh, Enrique Cabral from Mare. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Enrique. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Mare. Um, we understand that Mare is a center for research and technological development and innovation, combining uh, research from different universities. Can you tell us a little bit of how, uh, how it works? Mm, with pleasure. So Mari is, is a new research center that results from merging other centers uh, that, that exist already. And the main purpose is to combine expertise in different domains. So um, we have um, researchers working from uh, river basins estuaries and coasts to the deep sea and open ocean, so uh, integrating all the aquatic ecosystems. Um, we have also facilities um, in different parts of the territory, so we have uh, uh, eight mare poles uh, spread uh, in Portuguese uh, country. And we have also um, the will to direct part of our research to the um, the, the companies and, and SMEs uh, objectives. Okay, thank you. Um, we understand that uh, one of your major goals is to promote knowledge uh, on the functioning of marine ecosystems and also the interrelated estuaries and uh, freshwater systems. Can you tell us a little bit about the other goals that uh, Mare pursues? Mm -hmm. Of course. So uh, the other goals uh, integrates, for instance, the support for uh, policies in terms of um, marine mm -hmm. ecosystems. Uh, also, uh, we have a goal of uh, co um, collaborative networks in terms of higher ed education, um, including some uh, programs, especially um, um, for startup creation, for instance, we have now a, a new program on, on that. And also, um, we would like to contribute to the ocean literacy also, so the activities directed to the public or, or to, to schools or um, this kind of... Okay, thank you. Uh, what are, the, in your view, the key benefits that you have been extracting from combining researchers from different locations, probably different backgrounds, how is that working for you? I think it is working very well. So the, the, it is, um, I think, um, a way of combining expertise. Um, and we have a structure. So we, ha we, ha we are organized in research groups um, that are more or less ecosystem oriented. So we have researchers working on, as I said, river basins to the deep sea. But then we have 10 uh, thematic lines of research that are more or less transversal to these kind of groups. So you may have uh, civil engineering working with a biologist or a geologist and, and this uh, enhance, I think, the research and, and uh, the main outputs that we achieve. Okay, thank you. Um, in terms of projects, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the project phases or uh, where uh, some of your projects stand so far? Well, it is difficult to give a an answer to that question because we have like uh, 150 projects running at this moment. So we have a mix between different kinds of funding opportunities uh, and this is quite healthy in my point of view, this kind of uh, fin finance that we achieve. Um, a, a large part is from the European Union, uh, H2020 20, and, and former programs. And then we have national agencies of funding and then private sector. So we have uh, very different typologies of projects from the, a large European project to this very small and, and localized regional, for instance, for a municipality or for, for a private company. Okay, you were, you were touching um, um, a point of interest to us as well, which is the sources of funding. Mm -hmm. You have a mix of sources mm -hmm. of funding as, as we understand. Um, is this the right um, mix that you would like to have or do you envisage in the near future, future the development of one of these streams uh, further than the other ones? I think the mix we have is quite healthy in terms of the, the center. Anyway, I would like to, to foster um, a bit the, the private sector uh, axis. So I think uh, we, we can direct more research to the, the companies. 
this being probably interrelated in terms of having an industrial partner mm -hmm. that funds projects because they are also of course going to derive uh, yeah. benefits from from those those uh, projects um, you were you were telling us when when we spoke about the goals that th there are different uh, areas and different fields and different objectives of research can you tell us a little bit about uh, one or two examples of applications for companies or industrial use that you can imagine that the research will bring. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, some startups, for instance, that can be an example. Uh, some uh, relies on the extraction of molecules from marine organisms. We have a company which is C Enzyme, uh, which is ba basically the, the business plan is on, on that. But then we have like uh, touristic applications, we have like uh, water treatment uh, um, uh, methods. Uh, there are a, 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 a lot of examples I can give. Thank you. Um, coming to this Biomarine uh, conference, what are the key aspects that uh, you find uh, useful for Mare to take home from being here? It was very important. I think it's, and it, uh, act in, in, in both ways. So it's, it's a way of presenting MARE and the research we, we, we do and the applications we, we may, that may be interesting to companies and also benefiting from the experience from other companies, from other universities and research centers that can be developed in our center. So it's, I think it works in, in both ways. Okay, thank you. And uh, um, I would like to uh, wish you all the best in your future development. And also thank you for being here with us uh, and, and presenting Mari. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank <coughs> you.